Welcome to Bermuda everybody, I'm Morgan from the very unofficial travel guides and today I'm going to tell you how to get around on this beautiful island. I arrived here a couple days ago on the amazing Royal Caribbean Anthem of the Seas. There she is. And one of the reasons I make these videos is because I want to help, hold on. I want to help you guys plan your trips and have the best time you can. Or, you know, sometimes I like to say, I make the mistakes so you don't have to. Which is definitely the case <laughs> with the buses, at least here. It is really easy to get around the island. There are a lot of different options. I'm going to talk about like the main options here, taxis, the shared buses, and the city buses, and the ferries. And if you want to know about the other ways to get around, well then you're going to have to find that out yourself. When you arrive in the port, if your ship is docking at King's Wharf, which most of the ships do, most of the big ships dock here, then all of the transportation options are very close to the ship. If you see, this is the view down from my balcony, and you've got everything you need to know right here. And let's start with talking about the buses. If you want to ride the city bus, you can get just about everywhere on the island with the city bus. It's very inexpensive. It's probably the least expensive way, but it takes the most time because the buses stop at several places depending on how many people are getting on and getting off the bus. Here is an important thing I learned. If you don't have exact change, you can't ride the bus. You have to buy a token in advance. And when you get off the ship, the only place you can buy a token is at the visitor center. Just go inside the visitor center. One of the friendly people there will let you know what token you need for the bus or if you're going to be traveling a lot, probably the best deal is to just buy a one-day or a two-day pass that will give you unlimited rides on all the city buses and the ferries around the island. So you've got this little village down here. I don't know how else to describe it. And there's a building in the middle with a sort of triangular roof. It's sort of like a, an octagon, I guess. That's the tourist center. That's where you can buy the tokens or the day passes for the bus. Go there first because you can't buy them on the bus. You can only pay on the bus with exact change. In order to get on the bus then, the bus stops down this street over there. Once you get your token, you can go around the corner here to the bus stop. I made the mistake of trying to get on the bus without a token. The bus driver told me, no, you need to go buy a token. So I ran around the corner, went to the visitor center, bought a token, and then I literally sprinted back to the bus. The bus driver waited for me to get in front of the bus, and then he closed the door in my face. So, buy your tokens in advance. Once you're on the bus, tell the bus driver what stop you want to get off at. There are, you know, the main stops, everybody's going to be getting off there anyways. But if you're going someplace in between, make sure you tell your bus driver, please tell me when it's that stop. Otherwise, you're going to drive right past it because the stops are not listed. There's no signs on it. And this is also something I learned. The bus stops have color-coded poles. So a sort of pinkish pole means anything going away from the harbor towards Hamilton. And a blue pole means anything going back towards the harbor. And I found like a way to remember it. I thought, you know, the blue poles, if I'm on my way back to the ship, that means the fun day is over. So I'm feeling kind of blue. That's what helped me remember it. I don't know if that'll help you, but hey, there you go. Behind me you can see the bus stop and you know what, that's about everything I know about the buses. They're, you know, city buses and they drive around the island. They are the least expensive but probably most time consuming way to get around. And let's move up now to the most expensive way uh, and then at the end I'll tell you about my preferred way. If you want to take a taxi, that's probably, you know, like the easiest way because you just get off the ship and then literally right there you can get into a taxi. The taxi driver will take you anywhere you want, but it's going to cost some money. So if you got a big budget and you want to sort of just, you know, go whenever you want to go and do whatever you want to do, then take a taxi. That'll be the easiest way to do it. Between the taxi and minibus stand and the tourist information center, there is a like an info board and then they've got a list of the 
of like um, yeah, average taxi fares there. So if you want to check out how much it would be, that's where you can look. And no, there is no Uber in Bermuda. I personally just, I would not take a taxi around the island just because first of all, it's not in my budget. And second of all, there's so many other easier ways to get around that I just don't see the need for it. But let's go over back into the harbor and I'll tell you about the ferries. Taking the ferry is the most efficient way to get from here to any of the further away places on the island, the most popular being Hamilton. That is something that I kind of regret I didn't do this time, or what I, what I mean this time, I didn't, haven't ever done it, this is the only time I've been here, but next time I come I will definitely be doing that as well. The ferry also leaves right here, right in front of the ship, well not right in front of the ship, you have to walk a little ways, it's more in front of okay of the Tourist Information Center. If you've ever been to any cruise port, you've seen ships like this before. They're very comfortable. I'm sure there's a bathroom on side. You take a boat ride over to the other side of the island and that's how it works. And no, there is no buffet. So as you can see right in front of the ship in this area here, this is like the main sort of transportation center where anything on wheels other than the city buses will pick you up. This is where you're gonna board your ship excursions usually. This is where the taxis are and this is also where the shared minibuses are, which I think is sort of my preferred way to get around the island. If you've been to any of the islands like St. Martin, St. Kitts, places like that, it works very similarly to those places as well. Over here under these white tents, you'll find somebody who's coordinating everything. Tell them where you want to go, they'll put you in a small group, and then a driver will come and pick up the group, or maybe you'll get directly onto the bus, and then they drive you to wherever you're going. I took the bus to Horseshoe Bay, like I said, it took, it cost $7, which, you know, is really not that bad. I gave him a $2 tip because he was really friendly and uh, sort of gave us a tour of the island on the way there, gave us some interesting uh, information, and I thought, yeah, you know what, I'll give him a $2 tip. I made a separate video about that, or I will be making a separate video about that, so be sure to check my library if that's something that interests you. I hope this video helps you. Uh, if you got a trip coming up to Bermuda, then lucky you. If it did help you, then please do me a favor, just give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe here for more videos like this. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. If you do Patreon, you can follow me at patreon.com slash very unofficial. And otherwise, I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.